if you live in colder climates, you're still waiting for the frost date to start anything. But one of the things you can do are snow peas. They actually like cold weather. And you want to put them in. Uh, it doesn't matter if there's frost on the ground or not. Join me today as we put in one of the first things you can sow directly in the ground, snow peas. I'll show you how to put snow peas in correctly so you can have maximum growth and it's easy to do. So you guys have seen that I expanded this bed and I'm going to start some peas on the edges. Now you try to put it so you know they can run up a trellis and remember it is going to throw a little shade but if you notice like with me within an hour or two um, my shade is pointing directly away so I don't think it's going to throw a huge amount of shade on my garden but I might put some over on this side too. Anyway what you're going to start doing is you're going to remove the wood chips in a trench I'm actually going, since this is a new garden, well, part of this garden is really old and some new, but I'm going to use the seed starter stuff I was using, uh, and I'm going to pour that in there, since we're growing seeds, over the soil that's already there. So I'm going to remove the chips, pour this in, and then I'm going to show you, you're basically going to make a trench and zigzag the, uh, the seeds. So I'll show you how to do it. So here what I've done is made a trench you go down to the wood and try to pull out any wood chips you really don't want them leaching nitrogen and mulching them in I'll do a little better job of cleaning this up here but you can get an idea and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw a little dirt down like I have some cheap leftover loam here I'll throw a little of that in and then I'll put this premium soil over it so I'm basically gonna make a big trench that I can plant in a fresh soil because this is kind of a new garden still half of this is new if you listen closely this bird is suffering from chirpies <laughs> so I have the trench ready I added some cheap loam underneath and then I made a trench out of that seed starter and again you don't really have to do this if your garden is a few years old but this is brand new on a lot of this so this is what we're doing now what we're going to do is I'm going to use snow peas and you can actually put these in even uh, pretty much as soon as you can work the ground they will tolerate frost I mean they're snow peas so what we're going to do is a zigzag formation and they're going to be about two to three inches apart and I'll show you what it looks like and how that lays out so take a look here's the pattern you're going about two to three inches apart and you got uh, a zigzag like this and you're gonna put them a half inch in the ground so what I'll do is I'll just go push these and I will leave the chips off this until I see them sprouting and then what I'll do is I'll shuffle the chips all around it once they sprout enough so you might have to water this I might push a little chips up just lightly to keep it watered but you might have to keep it watered depending on your situation until they sprout then you can back fill the chips so I went around this pea tower that's also done and uh, I like to mix it up so I'm not gonna make this entire bed peas in case an animal come through and eats all the pea shoots or the disease what I'll do is I'll end up putting some of them over here and some of them over there so you don't really want to grow everything in one spot because of disease sometimes if you can help it so I'll mix it up I'll put them all over the place so even though you have a functional garden it can still be pretty Look, solar frogs <laughs> one last thing I'm doing um, to cover the peas is I'm just putting a little handful of wood chips this way the sprouts can still come through but it avoids me having to water as much and it protects them in case there's a little cold weather or frost but I'm not gonna put a lot and then I'll backfill it so I uh, found this in the wood chips. Anybody know what kind of egg this is? If it's like a beneficial bug, I want to throw it back in, but it's not. It can go. I don't know. I've never seen that egg sack before. It's like a hexagon inside it. If you watch my channel, you might know that I carve uh, wood for a hobby, just kind of for fun, but because YouTube's no longer paying any sort of money and patients aren't coming in because of what's going on in the world, 
I'm just going to start selling off my wood carvings. Uh, if you're interested, they run anywhere from $35 to $200, depending on how big. Most of them glow in the dark. Check those out. I really appreciate it. Also, I'm trying to move off YouTube because of the censorship. So if you sign up over at BitChute, you'll see the description uh, below, a link to the description. BitChute or Brighton, either of those places, uh, I post all my videos first. So you can go over and a day or two uh, early, you'll catch any video. I appreciate you signing up and thank you so much for supporting the channel. And oh, if you want a wood piece, just uh, check my email in the description and send me a request. I'll custom make something for you.